sometimes it's more possible for people who have not been at the helm to make changes for the better because they aren't hidebound to tradition or socially and culturally encouraged to stick to conventional practices. Tomcat Ranch is a learning laboratory where we produce healthy foods on fertile soils through regenerative ranching in a way that inspires others to action. Regenerative ranching is a way of practicing agriculture that harnesses the natural systems and cycles, like the carbon, solar, and water cycles. We're practicing regenerative ranching with a herd of cattle, 120 head, who live here on the ranch from birth till the day they leave for harvesting. And we're managing them according to a holistic management process. So as we're managing the cattle, we're moving them often to mimic how wild herds move through the wild grasslands. And we're measuring as we go using our on-site scientific partners, Point Blue, who do ecological evaluation and monitoring for us. Grazing operations are important to societal benefit, and they, if done poorly, can create quite a lot of societal harm. I think anybody who takes a close look at the confined animal factory operations um, method of raising cattle and other livestock would be horrified to see what they find there from a moral standpoint, but it is also deeply unsustainable. And whether we eat meat or not, we need ungulates. Those are cattle and other animals that can convert cellulosic fiber to biomass, which is really converting solar energy into food. But at the same time that they're doing that, they're also building topsoils. If no one ever ate a speck of meat again, we still would want to graze the lands with ungulates so that we maintain topsoils for all those row crops that go into plant-based proteins. I'm not the practitioner on the land, but I'm more the cheerleader for everything that goes on here. Professional land managers manage the ranch. Typically people talk about one thing, and in regenerative agriculture we talk about all things, about healthy food, healthy water, healthy climate, healthy biodiversity, healthy soil, uh, healthy rural communities, and it's putting all those together and we're trying to rebuild the system. One of the hard things is getting people excited about it because agriculture is a business that, it's hard, it's so many variables to contemplate. It's something that we really work hard to figure out what are the things, what are the studies or what are the examples, um, who are the heroes in the business that we can share We seek racial and gender diversity in all of the activities that we engage in. Sometimes I put it that we need to put more and different people in charge because uh, those uh, groups who have been left out of power structures for so long, those groups often have the best insights into how to overcome oppression uh, and disinvestment, and we should be listening to them but also putting them in power. What motivates me to do all of the work that I'm so lucky to get to do stems from my first memory at the age of five. We all watched television as JFK's funeral rolled by, and subsequently we watched the funerals of Bobby Kennedy, Martin Luther King, and I even imagine that I saw Malcolm X's funeral, which I don't believe was televised. As a child, I understood from the solemnity of those events that something was terribly wrong in American society, and it stemmed from our origins in African enslavement, Jim Crow, mass incarceration, native genocide and land theft, persecution of immigrants and refugees, less than personhood for women, the extreme environmental degradation. All of these things weighed on my conscience at a very early age, and I have spent a lifetime trying to find a way to be helpful in righting all those wrongs. Well, I hope Tomcat Ranch has been able to be influential in migrating millions of acres of our grazing lands to regenerative ranching. 
uh, through collaboration with many, many other parties and networks and organizations. We really are attempting to be a beneficial contributor to a community of practice around regenerative agriculture. And together, I think we can achieve the co-benefits 